It's simple, yet effective. The sharp pop of hands coming together serves as a form of communication and a sense of direction. You know, where they're clapping just kind of lets me know, you know, how fast they're going, um, you know, where they are, how, you know, so I know how hard to throw it or how high, things like that. 16-year-old Jake Olsen can't see a target when he's snapping the ball. He doesn't see the defense lined up against him. He doesn't see the fans in the stands. Retinoblastoma, a rare form of eye cancer, took the vision in his left eye as an eight-month-old and later claimed the vision in his right eye at the age of 12. Cancer not only took away his vision, it also took away the opportunity to play football. He got the itch to return to the gridiron last May and thought of a way he could contribute despite not having his sight. It was torture just sitting there watching them play and I had to get a part of it, so I started thinking of a position that I could play and uh, I kind of had a knack for snapping, so why not long snapper? One of the things we, we looked at was obviously the long snap position is, is a position that's somewhat guarded. I mean, you know, the reality is they're not supposed to hit, hit the long snapper and it's great to see him contribute in ways and use an actual skill, a talent, and uh, extra points are, are a big part of our family now. Jake also has aspirations of becoming the first blind player on the PGA Tour. Those subtleties that have helped him become successful on the golf course allowed him and his father to devise a plan to help him to have some success here on the football field. I'll run out, meet him. I'll tell him, Jake, I'm here. He'll put his hand on my, on my shoulder pad. I'll run him over, I'll take his hips, and I'll line his hips up straight. Then he'll, he'll go back, and, uh, and I'll grab the ball, and then I'll hear him clap. And so I just kind of a general sense to remind me, you know, where his hands are. And my left guard, Makai, he will tap my, my pad like that. And then, uh, I mean, it's really up to me at that point. This is football for Jake. With no sight, he can feel his teammates. He can listen for their claps. It's simple, yet effective. It's inspiring to those around him. One time I, I stood on the sideline and I thought, I wonder what it's like for Jake to be standing on the sideline, you know, at a scrimmage or something. And I just shut my eyes and listened. And you know, it was, uh, it was very emotional because I, I realized here's a kid, he can't see, and yet he's so into what, what football is all about. And it's about trying and doing your best and, and uh, not accepting, you know, mediocrity. And he's been more than just Jake. When I went blind, I decided that, you know, I wasn't going to let blindness stop me. And uh, there's kind of no point on just sitting on the couch all day. And I've learned that life, does, I mean, life does suck. I've learned that it does give it adversity and challenges. And, uh, you know, I, I don't tell anyone that life doesn't do that because it does. But it doesn't mean you can't stop. Hands down, one of the best stories out there in football today. Fantastic, Jake Olson, what he continues to do. Scott, as a parent, that really touches me in this, the struggle that he's gone through. Well, and it's inspiring. You know, what's your excuse for not doing what you needed to do today? What's your excuse for not going to the gym or doing your best or something? Because he's got a better one, and he's going out and doing his job. It's, it's, he's amazing.